In the 1970s and early 1980s, the security industry was dominated by hardwired security systems, often making use of relay logic or basic microprocessors. That worked well, but that was all about to change. Wireless alarm systems, which gained popularity in the 1990s, were actually a lot older than many might think. One of the first such wireless alarm systems was made by X10 in the late 1970s. They became famous for their power line based home automation kits sold frequently through Radio Shack. It was basically the first do it yourself wireless alarm system, but it lacked professional level features such as the ability to work with a monitoring service. In 1980, a company called Interactive Technologies Incorporated, known to many in the industry simply as ITI, was formed. At the time, they were a small company based out of North St. Paul, Minnesota, but grew into a major industry player who pioneered wireless security into what it is today. ITI's first major product line was the SX series, which may have been the first professional grade wireless security system in the industry. Wireless security initiated a major technological shift as now security system installers could offer a low cost, easy to use, professionally installed and monitored wireless alarm system to their customers. In 1988, ITI patented their Learn Mode wireless system, based off their earlier SX system, which was the first auto-programming wireless sensor system in the industry. Previously, with the SX system, sensors were programmed manually using a handheld programmer. This was common with other wireless systems, such as the Adamco 5600 and AT&T Security Pro 8000. With Learn Mode, all the installer has to do is tell the control panel what type of sensor it is, then trip the sensor, and the panel does all the programming automatically. The first ITI system to use Learn Mode was the Caretaker Plus, introduced in 1992. Many companies licensed ITI's Learn Mode technology for use with their security systems before developing their own similar products in the late 1990s. The Learn Mode sensor system still exists as an industry standard, being supported by companies such as Elk Products, Max Out Technology, Qualsys, Alula, and a few others. ITI also provided support for controlling X10 lighting control modules with their systems. The first system to natively support this was the Caretaker Plus, however the installation manuals for older systems showed how to connect the X10 power flash interface, which flashed X10 lamp modules when triggered by a contact closure input. Another innovation ITI became known for was talking alarm systems, introduced with their commander system in the late 80s and also the ability for the customer to interact with their system remotely using a landline telephone. However, they were not the first to do this as another company called Fire Burglary Instruments beat them to this in 1985 with their Secure Phone SF200 system. ITI eventually became known as Interlogix in 2000 after a series of purchases and mergers with companies such as Cadex Controls, Central, and Electro Signal Lab. Interlogix was later purchased by General Electric in 2002 and renamed GE Security before being sold again to United Technologies in 2009. Unfortunately, in 2019, Interlogix announced they are shutting down operations, so sadly the company no longer exists. However, their website is still maintained by the current owner of the brand, the Carrier Group primarily as a reference resource for former dealers and end users. The ITI system most collectors and technicians now will be familiar with is the Interlogix Concord 4, which was originally an ITI product. The product's features and functionality have heavy roots in older ITI products with many functions remaining virtually unchanged all the way back to 1985. It may be a long time before we see another company make a significant contribution to the industry the way ITI did, but technology changes fast and we will all just have to wait and see who comes out with the next major revolution in the security industry. Thank you everyone for watching. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, but feel free to leave a comment below.